Thanks to their unique design, oscillating multi-tools can get you out of a pinch. But who makes the best? Our team at ProToolReviews.com brought in the top models for a head-to-head -head evaluation, and it raised some eyebrows thanks to the latest technology developments. Thanks for clicking on our video. We hope you enjoy it. While you're here, consider helping us out by hitting the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. When you finish watching this one, check out our head-to-head -head testing results from our best cordless reciprocating saw video. Corded multi-tools are certainly relevant, but when we went over our qualifications to earn the title of best, having cordless convenience was a must. However, some of these tools are available as corded options without any loss of performance and they'll save you some money. We ran a series of tests to determine which of these tools is the best across several areas and learned a lot along the way. We started by undercutting a door jam using a tile to support the blade and set the correct cutting height. We cut out drywall for electrical box installation and popped finish nails to remove trim. Switching to a diamond grip blade, we removed lines of grout and then installed a sanding pad to see what kind of sanding speed each model offers. As we cut and sanded, we were also feeling out how much vibration each tool delivered to our hands and considering how the tool's length, weight, and handle design played into the experience of using it. During our testing, we used several different types of Milwaukee oscillating multi-tool blades and they performed great. They have a wide selection that covers just about everything you need, including some really nice specialty blades for drywall and grout. If you're on the Starlock platform, we recommend using Imperial blades. With all that in mind, let's jump right into our recommendations. Milwaukee's M12 fuel oscillating tool earns a big win for the ergonomics of its design. For starters, its 12-volt foundation is lighter than the 18-volt models. It's also short enough to reach tighter spaces better, and its slim handle lets it easily maneuver into awkward positions. The M18 fuel version shares the same handle design, so it really just adds some more weight and length if you want to use those batteries instead and benefit from the increased runtime and higher performance. Craftsman's V20 is another tool that has a nice, slim handle and a lighter weight. There were no surprises in our blade change evaluation as Starlock still dominates in speed and ease of use. By simply pressing the interface into the blade, it snaps, locking the accessory in place and you're ready to go. When it's time to change it out, the lever releases and ejects the accessory from the tool without any additional help. That's particularly helpful so you can avoid touching a hot blade after doing a lot of undercutting or plunge cutting. Bosch and Fine both have Starlock interfaces on the multi-tools we tested. Even though Starlock has a significant advantage, Craftsman and DeWalt have a clamping style interface that's also very easy to use, though it does limit them to exclusively using slotted accessories. Fine has long dominated vibration control in multi-tools. However, the latest generation of tools feature some outstanding improvements in this area. The big story is that Milwaukee has finally overtaken Fine. The M18 fuel multi-tool is very close to last year's vibration leader, but Milwaukee's M12 fuel overtakes it with the lowest vibration of any of the oscillating multi-tools we've tested. Considering all the available options, Milwaukee and Fine clearly lead the pack by a significant margin. That's not to say others are content to sit still, though. Skill introduced an isolated head design that significantly reduces vibration in their 20-volt model, giving you a budget-friendly solution for saving your hands. If cutting speed is your highest priority, there's Fine and Milwaukee, and then there's everyone else. On any given application, Fine Supercut Cordless and Milwaukee's M18 Fuel are way ahead of the competition. Their control is also much better, making your cutting even faster because they help you reduce mistakes during the cut. In the end, the two are so close to each other in speed that it's nearly impossible to concretely say one is faster than the other. There's a difference between getting the cheapest oscillating multi-tool and the best value. We didn't bother testing the cheapest models this time around. We've gone down that road before and we're left disappointed. The least expensive of the ones we did test and are comfortable recommending is Craftsman's V20. It runs just $119 as a kit and $79 as a bare tool. However, the oscillating multi-tool that gives you the most bang for your buck has to be Skills Power Core 20. For around $162, you get a brushless tool with a 2 amp hour battery, an upgraded power jump charger, and a nice blade and sanding set to get you started. Combined with its performance and low vibration design, it's a solid package for the price and is backed by a 5 year warranty. That just leaves the best oscillating multi-tool overall. Fine Supercut Cordless has some serious competition from Milwaukee, but it's still advanced enough to hold that number one ranking. It's the complete package, outstanding speed and vibration control with Starlock's lightning fast blade changes. The downside is that it's bulkier than most of the other models we tested, and it has a pretty steep price tag. If those are potential pain points for you, Milwaukee's M18 Fuel is a very attractive alternative. After a ton of extensive testing, those are our picks for the best oscillating multi-tools. If you have any questions or feedback for us, feel free to leave those in the comments below, along with a shout out to your favorite multi-tool. And as always, thanks for watching. Help us out by subscribing to our channel below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.